Hey everyone, this is my third, fourth, third or fourth makeup tutorial. Um, this one was actually requested by a lady named Bianca. She wanted a look that would go good with brown hair. Um, I naturally have brown hair, but you know, obviously it's colored silver, blonde, whatever you want to call it. So I told her I would make a video to give her an idea of what kind of color would look good. Um, I feel like a nice brownish, kind of smoky, but not too smoky eye would look perfect for that. Um, so here you are. Um, I hope that you like this video. I hope you get to watch it. I'm going to send her the link after I do this. Um, but I just want to say I hope everybody likes the video. I'm going to try to make this one a little shorter. I know I say that every time, but I just, I talk way too much. Seriously, I really just talk way too much. And that's a big problem because then the videos are like 20 minutes. Um, but please share with your friends. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you love it. Um, here's the final look. You will see me starting with just doing my eyeshadow, um, eyeliner, eyelashes, lips, and a little bit more highlighting. I did eyebrows, contouring, and highlighting, foundation, all of that off camera just to make it a little bit faster because I noticed that the second video I did was really long because I did my eyebrows on camera and I did my foundation and all of that so this time I went and did it separate. So I hope you guys enjoy, I hope you have a good day and stay tuned for another video later. Maybe we'll do some talking, maybe not, I don't know. Um, thank you all very much. Okay, I hope you love it. All right, so I already did my foundation and most of my contouring and highlighting. Um, my lips look so pale because as you all know, I always put foundation on my lips because I am gonna be wearing lipstick. Um, today I'm gonna do like a kind of neutral brown, kind of smoky eye. Um, just something that you could kind of wear every day that's not gonna be too crazy, like a real bright blue or green. Just something that's kind of calm. Um, so the first thing that I'm gonna do after I already you know, did my full face. I primed my eyes with the NYC 24 hour city proof under eye concealer. Well, I use it on my eyes too. You can use it on both. And I'm gonna, like always, go with my Milani in Bella Chiffon. I'm gonna put that around my entire eye. And like always, I'm gonna do one eye on camera and then one eye off camera just so that way it saves a little bit of time and just really get that in good and it's also going to highlight your eyebrows I also did my eyebrows off camera just to save some time because I noticed on the last video it actually took a like good chunk of time and I want to try to keep these videos short um, I do have a little mascara on just from earlier but other than that everything else I did t a few minutes ago and I will have a makeup tutorial done soon I mean a hair tutorial soon um, but I just haven't had time that's gonna take a lot longer so we'll get to that later all right so I did that color and then for browns I'm going to use three different palettes my L'Oreal palette and my two Maybelline nude palettes. Um, the pink one is the blushed nudes, and then the other one is just a regular nude. Um, just some pretty browns and stuff, and the other one has some pinks and light greens, stuff like that. But I'm gonna start out with the darkest brown first, and I'm gonna go with this one here, because I'm gonna be doing like a brown, smoky eye-ish. I'm gonna go with that one and remember to blow your brush off because you don't want to get a bunch of eyeshadow down here and then I'm gonna go and just go like this go over your crease a little and down here And 
And then after that, I am going to use, let's see, probably should have thought about this before I went on camera, but it's okay. We're going to see how it goes. I'm going to use this like brown pinkish color next. I'm going to mix it with a little bit of the shimmery one as well. It's the one right next to it. I'm going to do both those. Sorry, we're gonna do this. It's kind of a goldish brown. Um, the other one on my other palette is more like a gold gold. This one's more of a goldish brown. So I'm gonna use that one. Pretty much just like I did before, but I'm gonna use it a little bit more, like going a little bit more to the outer corner. Now you don't want to wipe your brush off unless you're going to like go back and use the Bella Chiffon or something like that because you want that color to stay on there for when you blend. And I'm going to take a creasing brush. Um, you can just do two colors if you want. I'm just showing, I had somebody actually ask me to do like a color that would look good with brown hair and I naturally have brown hair so I would normally do a color like this. Um, so that's why I'm doing this. And just go up near your eyebrow again, just to make sure that it's not, the darker part isn't at your eyebrow. So, you can see the color I have. I'm going to do a few, you know, touch-ups while the camera's off, but just so you can kind of see. I have the real dark, and you can see the little color change go that way. And the gold in there. Okay, so I'll be right back. I'm going to do the other eye, and then I'm going to show you eyeliner if I decide to do eyeliner then we're gonna do lashes and lips okay see you soon okay so I have both eyes mostly done but I'm actually gonna go to my blush nudes and I'm gonna add some of this copper color here because it's a little bit darker than I wanted it um, since this is kind of supposed to be like an everyday look and you don't always I mean you might want to smoke a smoky eye every day but I'm gonna go and use a little bit of the copper color. You can use a blending brush, or I'm just using my angled brush because that's just what I have in my hand at the moment. Either way is fine. And I'm gonna do that like right at my crease so it really just lightens up the darker part a little bit. Okay, 
So after you do that, um, I like to just use like a little, this little tiny brush or any little small brush. And I'm just going to go back to that lighter color like I did earlier, the um, Milani. And I'm just going to go and just take a little bit and just kind of do like a line, you know, to outline your eyebrows. And so that the eyeshadow doesn't go to your eyebrows. I have big eyes, so I don't do the traditional eyeshadow where, like, it's, like, really light right here. I ha have, like, really big eyes, so I like to be able to really see the shadow. Okay. So. And then after that, I'm just going to go to that angled brush that... No. Uh -uh. You know that... The angle brush that I used for the gold, I'm just going to take that and just go down so that way it doesn't look like there's just a white line, you know, separating the two because that would look kind of funny. So now you can see it looks like it's all blended. And then I know that all of you have, that have been watching know that I am obsessed with gold right now. I don't know why. But I am going to use a little bit of gold, so I'm going to use a really tiny angled brush. This is just like in a, I, with the 256 color palette I got, this was in it. So I'm just going to use that and I'm going to go to my Tarte palette that has the gold that I always use. And I'm just going to do a little tiny, tiny bit of that right here. Kind of, you can see in like the corner part. The only reason I'm using this little tiny tiny brush is because I'm going to be connecting it underneath. So I'm actually going to use that gold and I'm going to put it all the way underneath my eye. Just a real thin thin line. Okay, so now we're going to do eyeliner. Um, I use the one from Estee Lauder. It has two sides. One is the really sharp side. The other one has a flat and then a sharp side. And then I also use by Maybelline the Voluminous Superstar.
Okay, now I have both eyes with eyeliner, if you can see. Both sides are done, nice and sharp. Please excuse the makeup in my hair. I'll wipe that out, it's just because my hair is blonde now and you can totally see it. Such a pain. Um, okay, so I did use a little bit of brow gel while I was off camera. It's just the e.l.f. lash and brow gel. Um, just to keep them, I did trim them, but just to keep them where they are. Um, for mascara, I have two that I use. One is from Estee Lauder. It's the Sumptuous Extreme and then the Dramatic Definition from Maybelline. Before you put your falsies on, I would suggest putting just a little bit of mascara on your eyes. I mean, not your eyes, but your eyelashes. Um, just to help them have some, like a little something to stick to. And remember to never pump your mascara if you don't want clumps. So you can barely see, I mean I have pretty long eyelashes but you can barely see it because I just put a little tiny bit. Um, so I use Kiss Lashes. The ones that I got are the, it says Posh Kiss, so I'm assuming that's the name of them. Um, the glue that I use is also by Kiss. I just had it. Oh, it's a black um, glue. I don't put it on the lashes itself. I put it on a little thing here. And then I use a Q-tip to put it on the lashes because it's less messy and it's a lot easier to put them on. All right, both falsies are on. All right, after that, you're pretty much done. The last thing that I do is I take, okay, I know everybody talks about the champagne pop. I don't really remember who that's from, but I buy all of my makeup on a budget. I don't spend a lot of money because it go, you go through it so fast. I do spend a lot of money on a few things, but not much um you're just gonna take you can use your finger or you can use any brush i got this color which is pretty much it when you put it on it looks just like the champagne pop so i'm gonna
All right, this is from Estee Lauder. It looks like it's gonna be really dark, but it actually isn't. So the liner that I'm gonna use with it is sorry it's just this like it's just a brown liner it came with that kit that i just showed you so i have to do this in the mirror All right, and that's it. So this is just kind of like an everyday brown look. Um, this was a special request from someone named Bianca. I'm not going to say her last name, but I hope you like this. I hope this helps you, um, you know, figure out how to do your makeup or, um, you know, a color that you may like. I know that my hair is blonde. She was asking for something that would go good with brown hair, and I feel like this would go well with brown hair as well. Um... So I hope everybody enjoyed this. I'm going to do the little video that everybody does. You know, the one I always do too. And I hope you guys have a good day.